I often get questions about whether Webflow is the way to go in 2024. So that's why I've prepared all of our experience over the past years of running Flow Ninja into the single year and created our top predictions when it comes to Webflow design and development. And the last one might surprise you. So make sure to stick to the end. Let's dive straight into the predictions. 3D elements. As Webflow has introduced Spline into the platform itself, I do believe that there are going to be more and more 3D websites we're going to be seeing, which are going to be built on Webflow. And hopefully more award-winning websites also. Additionally, not really that that's important, but it's it's something nice that, that, that we can see. We've seen some incredible things possible with Spline in Webflow. And the level of granularity you're going to be able to do with Spline in Webflow is just something we haven't seen anywhere else. We've seen this directly at the Webflow conference in San Francisco when Webflow showcased the tool itself. So I do believe that more and more people are going to be using and secretly me as a CEO, I'm pushing more and more of bids and projects where we can use technologies like this just to be a little bit more selfish and to have a little bit more fun when we're doing all things Webflow ongoing improvements and website systems. The problem is many websites have been made pretty quickly on Webflow, have maybe been made by some inexperienced people, and in the process, they've became slow and unreliable for marketing managers who are running those websites. As we're mostly working on long-term partnership projects at Flow Ninja, we've discovered that there are more and more people looking to either fix these websites by using our studio or other professionals, or in general, that companies are looking to invest a lot more into their experiences and make sure that they are as optimized as possible. That's gonna come from accessibility. It's gonna come from speed optimizations. It's gonna come from technical SEO optimizations. It's gonna come from making a lot more more changes on the website uh, which are not gonna be so big so they're gonna be projects their team is gonna be requesting which are a lot smaller they're gonna do a lot a lot more of those smaller projects in order to see the impact and to continuously work on your website at Flow Ninja, we've always had more of a consulting approach when it comes to websites. So that's why we believe that in 2024, more and more people are going to take on this approach and they're going to look at the website as a never ending process. No code SaaS platforms. There was a time where in order to be able to build a no code SaaS platform, you needed millions or you needed tens of years of experience in order to go ahead and get a SaaS platform up and running. In 2024, you're going to be able to leverage tools like Sano, Webflow, and Wiz in order to go ahead and build your own SaaS platform. So if you have any ideas on the SaaS platforms you want to build, you can hire either a Webflow agency and a, a no-code SaaS agency who's going to be building that for you, or you can join the space and actually learn front-end development and learn kind of Wiz and Sano if you go this route to go ahead and create your own SaaS tool, test the market, see how do kind of people like it, and based off of that, go ahead and grow. We're not saying all of this because of our assumptions. We do have an active studio which has seven figures and we see more and more clients reaching out over to us and they're requesting either a marketing website and on top of that having some sort of a gated content which is going to require somebody to log in or even they're requesting a lot more full-blown SaaS platforms. So far we've built three pretty big SaaS platforms at our studio and additionally we do also run our whole studio on Sixstar which is a custom SaaS platform we've built for our clients in order to provide as best client experience as possible. With all of these things being said, and with all of the knowledge we have, I do believe that 2024 is a great time for you to start your own SaaS platform on Webflow or to hire somebody to start it for you. And the last one is technical builds. With a recent change in Webflow's positioning, they're targeting more and more enterprise and bigger clients, which is really good for the community as it's gonna be opening up a lot more work and it's gonna be opening a lot more interesting projects if you ask us, as we are really like working on technical projects and technical builds inside of Webflow. Even looking at our portfolio, like more than 50% of our clients have been enterprise builds and we've been even an enterprise partner in 2023. And with that, we see that in order to be successful nowadays, 
you're gonna need to learn a lot more than Webflow. We see a lot more technical builds, a lot more technical JS things that we need to do on the different websites. SEO is becoming more and more complex. So if we kind of go ahead and go into programmatic SEO, we do reverse proxy, we do multiple languages. We need to be really careful about security and how we build things in order for them to be secure. Cookie consent uh, is not something we add in, in, a, in just a few hours. It's more of a, a one month project in order to make sure that data on the website is managed in the, in the best way possible and a lot more than this. That's why I do believe that in order to succeed on a Webflow website in 2024, if you're a big company, it's probably not going to end at no code. It's going to end at a lot more integrations, API calls, and a lot more technical stuff being done on top of Webflow itself, which is great because I do not believe that there's any competition which is gonna allow you to come to a point where you're gonna be able to build with no code and then what code needs to step in, it's gonna be really straightforward to manipulate that, to work with custom code and to go really advanced and to basically create anything possible on the web. Apart from trends, I do really believe that Webflow is gonna keep growing. I mean, like year after year, they're continuously growing. And the best thing is that they're growing with websites which have a lot of traffic. Looking at that, there are more and more websites which have a lot more traffic, which are migrating to Webflow, which is great if you're in the Webflow space. And it also showcases the robustness of the platform itself, because if it wasn't a great tool, big companies wouldn't be moving to Webflow itself. And on top of that, Webflow, even though it's sometimes seeming sad, is changing up their leadership team. As you build a product for many, many years, I'm sure that you either run out of ideas or maybe you even become disconnected with what's next for the platform and what's the next big thing you need to do. So that's why I was really excited when I saw that, for example, Alan, the former CTO of Shopify, joined Webflow and became their CTO. And I can tell you from my experience, whenever I email a guy, I get a response and he's an incredible person and he's really dedicated towards the product. So I'm really excited that they're being able to introduce people like that. And also, for example, even on the chief product officer role, they were able to get Rachel and he, she had experience at Dropbox and like with many acquisitions and kind of scale that Dropbox had. So with all of that, I'm really confident that Webflow is going to continue growing and that you shouldn't be scared that it's too late. And even as a fun note, Webflow Twitter increased by more than 1000%, I think even the span of the last four months or so kind of in the 2023 so it's becoming more and more popular more people are talking about it and thus is creating more freelance opportunities more work and it's becoming more and more supported day in and day out with all of this said i do believe that 2024 is going to be an amazing year for the community you can type in what do you think are going to be the trends for webflow in 2024 and without further ado We'll see you in the next video. If you want to go ahead and learn nine strategies that we use for every single project that we build for our enterprise clients, you can go ahead and view a few free webinar we recorded just here so that you can stay updated towards all of our processes we use at Flow Ninja.